Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, we will learn how to charge our lithium ion batteries using a power supply when you do not have the appropriate charger. These batteries power much of our modern lives, from laptops, tablets, toys, lanterns, and even electric cars are powered using lithium ion batteries. This kind of battery has a nominal voltage of 3.6 volts. When the battery reaches 3 volts, we can say that it is depleted and we must recharge the battery. The charge must be at a maximum voltage of 4.2 volts. You should never exceed this voltage, otherwise you will damage your battery. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days. We must be careful when charging lithium-ion batteries because the charge is a two-stage process. First, we need to apply a constant current to the battery and then finish the charge at constant voltage. This battery, for example, is a Samsung. I have the data sheet. We can see that it is a 2500 mAh battery. The nominal voltage, as we mentioned, is 3.6 volts and the standard charge is constant current, constant voltage at 1.25 amps, 4.2 volts with a current cutoff of 125 milliamps. We now will see in detail what this means. Here we can see the charge process. In this axis we have the current and this is the voltage. The horizontal axis is the charging time. Here we have our current curve and this is the voltage curve. Initially we have, we apply a constant current 1.5 amps and the voltage of the battery is 3 volts. It is discharged. So we apply constant current and the voltage starts to increase. There will be a point when the voltage reaches the value of 4.2 volts or current is still constant and here finishes the first stage. When the voltage of the battery is 4.2 volts, we must fix the voltage at that value and then the current will start to decrease. Constant voltage, current decreasing. When the current reaches the cutoff value, according to the data sheet, is 125 milliamps, at this point, the stage 2 ends and our battery is fully charged. It may seem complicated to charge the battery in this way, but actually, Using our power supply, it is almost automatic. Most modern power supplies, even cheap ones like mine, let you select both the voltage and the current. In our case, we will select 4.2 volts and 1.5 amps. Now, when the battery is depleted, it has a low resistance, so it will try to draw a lot of current, but our current will be limited by the power supply to 1.5 amps. Of course, the voltage will be lower in order to comply with Ohm's law. As the battery gets charged, the resistance goes up and the voltage starts to rise. There will be a moment when the resistance is high enough that we will go 
to the 4.2 volts value of voltage and at that moment the current will start to go down. Let me illustrate this using this chain of resistors in series. These are 1.2 ohm resistors but let me move the current to 200 milliamps in order for the resistors to uh, not to burn. So I will connect a single resistor. This is a low resistance equivalent to a non-charged battery. You can see how the voltage is very low and the current is limited to 200 milliamps. There is a small error in my power supply. As the battery gets charged, the resistance increases. I'm going to use two resistors in series. You can see how the voltage goes up, but we still have a maximum current limited by the power supply. More resistance, voltage increases, increases even more and more, but we still have 200 milliamps. Now, with more resistance, this is a 22 ohm resistor, we now reach the maximum voltage allowed by the power supply, 4.2 volts, and now the current starts to go down. If we further increase the resistance, the battery is charging even more, the current continues to go down. So we will observe the value of current and when it reaches the cutoff value of 125 milliamps, we will disconnect the power supply and our battery is charged. Okay, let's proceed to the charge. First, I'm going to check the voltage on our battery. It is almost 3 volts, so the battery needs a charge. The power supply is set 4.2 volts and 1.5 amps. I will put the battery in a battery holder in order to make the connections easy and then positive of the power supply to positive of the battery and negative to negative. Okay, so we have the current at the maximum 1.5 amps and you can see the voltage it is slowly rising as the resistance of the battery goes up. It is increasing with the constant current, if we have more resistance, we need more voltage. It is ohms low. So now we have to wait until the voltage gets 4.2 volts and then the power supply will limit the voltage at that point and the current will start to decrease. The voltage is now at 4.2 volts. It will not rise more because it is limited by the power supply. And now the current is getting down. It is now at 1.42 amps and we have to wait until it reaches the value of 125 milliamps. The current has dropped to 125 milliamps and our battery is fully charged. We can now disconnect the power supply and let's check the voltage. It is 4.13 volts. The battery voltage will continually drop as we use the battery until it reaches the 3 volts when it is discharged. Remember that the nominal voltage is 3.6 volts, which is an average between the maximum 
of a freshly charged battery, 4.2 volts, and the minimum of 3 volts when it is discharged. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.